Hey, what's up, guys? Um, just want to make a loadout video, real quick. I'm not dead. I just haven't really had the time to film anything lately, with school and everything. And then, um, I'm this camera kind of frustrates me, so I didn't really have any motivation to make any videos. But now this is my loadout video, so I'll start with my guns, and then I'll head on to gear. Uh, before I do that, actually, I just want to say my loadout changes very frequently, like. Every month I pretty much have a different kit or whatever, but this is my, my M4 Airsoft or my AR-15 type 5.56 five, Airsoft kit because uh, I have a different kit for like my AK-74 or my RPK. But um, let's get right into it. So on the back, I run a Magpul CTR stock in um, like tan, have the standard A2 grip uh, stock, no actually sorry, it's a VFC. A2 grip. The gun itself is a classic army. Um, I got, you know, it's got nice trades, auto semi safe. Got Troy rear sight, some shitty Evike brand T1, uh, FMA PEC 15, VTAC free float rail, uh, another Magpul Desert Earth uh, RVG, and some Night Evolution light. It's actually pretty nice. And then um, a Troy front flip up. Um, and then the mag that I have in the gun right now is just like an Evike Bamf mag. Uh, it just looks nice in the gun, so that's why I have it there. Alright, let's uh, move on to pistols real quick. Let's put this down. So I run two pistols uh, right now. What I mainly run is my uh, WE Nighthawk golf ball gun. It's pretty nice. Um, I need to get new mags for it. It's just a single stack 1911. It's got threads. Um, you know, all black Nighthawk trades. Uh, it's an alright gun. And then one of my more shitty guns that's okay ish is uh, kind of just for what it is. I thought it was pretty cool. It's a KJW CZ75. Um, nice pistol. I mean, it feels like really real so I guess it's pretty cool but it just doesn't perform all that well um, it is like in the winter though so hopefully it'll get better once uh, the weather starts to warm up um, I guess I'll start with face protection so for glasses I run the Vulcan Zulus these are probably one of the best goggles that I've had yet um, they barely fog at all they're really low profile they fit my big head I mean, they're full seal, but the foam is also really low profile. Like, 30 bucks, 40 bucks for these glasses, definitely worth it. Um, I run clear, clear tint all, all the time, or clear lens all the time, sorry. I don't run anything else just because I like to be looking how I would if I wasn't wearing any eye protection. I mean, I, occasionally I'll run like, like these I'm working on, they're just ESS like ice or something. I forgot what the actual name of them, but they're ESS glasses. You know, like I like the red tints. I don't like dark, like unpol unpolarized tints. But uh, so the glasses, I run this, say Under Armour, Under Armour Balaclava. I run um, mainly in the winter. And then when I'm playing in CQB, I run this, uh, you know, just half face mesh mask. Was a skull. I painted over it a little bit. It's starting to come back though again. Because, you know, apparently skull face masks are the cancer of airsoft. But, um, you know, I cut it so I could actually look down. You know, my chin is right at the bottom of it, so it works real well. And I also cut the sides of it so it's easier to look down my sights. Um, for a holster that I run those pistols in, it's a Blackhawk drop leg. I don't have, like, the mag pouches for it. I got the second hand off some guy. Um, I modded it so it's a single strap uh, system on the uh, the belt mounting part, and I still use the two straps for the leg mounting part. Um, nice holster, fits the 1911s and the CZ75, so it uh, works pretty good. For gloves, I run um, Mechanics, you know, standard Mechanics and Fuller's Green. I love Mechanics, I've always used Mechanics. Um, I've had a few other pairs of gloves and I was just not really happy with them. And I just love mechanics because they're cheap and you know they break or they rip. You know this one actually happened to me last weekend. The uh, like the hanger part ripped off which kind of upset me but it's a whatever really. I'll just cut it off. Helmet. 
Uh, now, my helmet and my play carrier are the things that change very frequently in my kit. This is a uh, TMC airframe uh, with a cry cover. Uh, this is a size medium and uh, just the stock rails. I don't have the cry rails. I have a uh, Wilcox L4 G24 replica by FMA with the bungees. Uh, FMA Manistrobe. Not really functional right now, but. And then I have uh, just some like homemade compass pouch I use as a counterweight. Uh, on the insides, I run like just the standard TMC pads and a protection strap that I cut so I can use it with mesh. I cut the uh, like the part that goes on your upper chin. I plan on probably getting a uh, an ops core H nape though uh, eventually in the future. So my for my play here um, changes more than the helmet pretty much right now. Uh, but uh, this is what I'm running. Let me just get in the picture. It's a Feral Concepts FCPC in Coyote Brown, size medium. Uh, this is a nice carrier. It's a little small for me because I'm a bigger I'm a bigger dude, but um, it's still a nice rig to have. So I'm running the uh, Feral Concepts shoulder pads. Um, it has these little clips here that I use. I just have this Velcro thing. I think I got it off like an Eagle FB or like some pistol pouch that I ripped apart. But um, just to cover the the clips from coming out. Uh, reversed full color IR flag, FMA uh, V light mags that I actually run. The Banff mag and the gun was just kind of for looks. Or uh, I run K mags. Uh, three in the front. I run Ranger plates on. I run the left cummerbund slick, except for the back, which I'll show you. I did a like a Mako airsoft kind of cummerbund mod, and I used the pouch to attach the cummerbund. Works really well. Um, on the I think this is, yeah, this is the right side. Um, I run pretty much slick as well, uh, slick, excuse me, as well, except for the canteen pouch. I basically have this for hydro because I really despise running a giant hydration bladder, so I can just run water bottles and be half as light and half as effective, or more, more, more effective. I'm sorry. On the back, back panel is kind of weird. Uh, so I have these two pouches that are kind of useless. I use this as a buddy mag pouch before I added this, which is I'll get to that in a second. This is a gray ghost gear, like. Either it's a, either it's just a utility pouch or it might be a saw pouch. I'm not even that sure to be honest. I have a f tactical tailor fight light utility pouch. I have an old gen tactical tailor in like khaki. Uh, IFAC. Ooh, your IFAC placement is off. Yeah, I know, but whatever. It's, I use it as a GP. And then uh, up here I have a double eagle industries and four pouch, which I keep the rest of my mag. Um, I just have them in there for storage right now. Uh, I usually just keep them in my pockets. Um, I, I ran this on the side, but I really don't like running mag pouches on my left and right side, uh, just for personal preference. So, uh, that's pretty much it, guys. That's my kit. Um, I'll probably make one for my AK loadout uh, after this, so I'll see you guys later.